What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Zamazetta and Shen Pao team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Zamazetta in its past game Pokemon Sword and Shield, this Pokemon honestly wasn't that good on the competitive scene. But now it's hopping into Scarlet and Violet. And to be honest, this Pokemon is actually very solid. It's actually, I would say, top 10 in restricted Pokemon, maybe even top 8. Such a strong Pokemon gets a defense boost every time it hops on the field. And we can pair it up now with Shen Pao to actually make this thing an offensive weapon. I love it. Cannot wait to showcase this team. But Zamazetta over here, going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview in the bottom right hand corner. Actually, right behind my face game. It's got Dauntless Shield and Rusted Shield as its item and ability. Rock and Iron Head, which will turn into Behemoth Bash. Then it's got Body Press, Iron Defense, and Wide Guard. So very cool Pokemon. Like I already mentioned, it gets a defense boost every time it hops onto the field. Furthermore, you can boost this defense with Iron Defense. Get this thing real bulky, then do crazy damage with Body Press. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon and get some wins for you guys. But other Pokemon on today's team features Fluttermane, Gouging Fire, two Paradox Pokemon that work super well. Fluttermane's got that choice spec, doing some big time special attacking damage, and Gouging Fire's holding that booster energy. Boosting one of its stats, making this thing go crazy with Breaking Swipe, Heat Crash, Howl, and Burning Bulwark. Our final three Pokemon, one of them we already mentioned is Shen Pao. Everything's pretty standard on that with Focus Sash and a standard moveset. We got Amoongus and Ting Lu. Amoongus is going to be great for support side with Sporing, Rage Powders, all that good stuff. And Ting Lu is going to be great because of its Vessel of Ruin ability. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Zamazetta ranked team. Before we get started here with match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making this team. If you guys want to check out the Pokebase or see this team more in depth, make sure you guys go head over to his channel. Link will be down in the description below. But we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team here in match number one. And I could just lead Zamazetta here. I mean, Zamazetta isn't too bad. They have a few physical attackers. They could intimidate me, which I don't really like to be honest. So I might honestly just go into like special attackers, maybe Amoongus, because Amoongus could be good when dealing with this Shadow Rider Calyrex. It could maybe just like protect my other Pokemon and maybe just spoil that. Not a bad idea, but Incineroar could definitely be a lead. I don't want to deal with that, right? I really just don't want to deal with that. I do not. I mean, I could go into Zamazetta and just start boosting defense. Hmm. I think we saved that. I think we saved Zamazetta and Shen Pao for the back end and we end up leading Amoongus and Fluttermane with the choice spec. Something I really like here. Actually, I can't protect you. I can't protect you. And Intimidate works wonders on every other Pokemon. They're so leading in Sinor. They are so leading in Sinor. And you know what? I'm going to go Zamazetta instead. I'm just going to try to boost my defense here early on. If you want to Intimidate me, we'll deal with that. But um, we'll try to boost the defense. But our final Pokemon for this matchup could be you if you have speed boost. Yeah, you do. You know what? We're going to take Gouging Fire here. That's the best bet. I do like the booster energy into speed, giving us a bit of a speed boost, maybe outspeeding Calyrex. I'm not too sure if we can, because it was 145 plus the booster energy, and I don't think that outspeeds. It cuts it close. It actually makes it really close, but we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out with, with our opponent. But they're going to send out Incineroar. Yeah, we really had no way around Incineroar. And we go Zamazetta. So they're going to intimidate me. They can fake me out. Um, Huh. What is my play here, though? But if they fake out Amoongus, slight issue. Might just want to protect. I could actually Y Guard and Spore. Ooh. Ooh, I could Y Guard and Spore. I could Y Guard and Spore. You know, let's just protect this turn because to be honest, you might just go into. You might just go into fake out and then we can Y Guard and Spore. That is a possibility. Yeah, we're just going to go into protect on you. And to be honest, we are just going to go for an iron defense here. Yeah, I'm just going to look to boost my defensive stats here. So I'm just going to protect my Amoongus here. They could fake it out. Hopefully, they're faking out Amoongus, but most likely faking out Zamazetta. Yeah, makes sense. I wish I had protect, but we do have Wide Guard, which they're not ready for. And they're going to go for a Psy Shock here. Okay. Making me want to Thrasilize now. You're making me want to Thrasilize, but that's not a bad turn for us. I don't mind that turn. I'm actually going to Thrasilize here with our Amoongus and put him to sleep. And furthermore, hop the Iron Defense with Zamazetta. That's my play. That is my play. Because if you're going for another Psy Shock, that's fine. I doubt you're going for an Astral Brush. I would think you would be going for another Psy Shock here. Just to look to KO my Amoongus. So we're Terrastalizing. We want to put the Shadow Rider Calyrex to sleep. We kind of need to put the Shadow Rider Calyrex to sleep. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to boost her defense. 
and maybe take out Incineroar with Body Press. We'll see how this one plays out. Because they're not ready for Wide Guard either. I still have that in my back pocket. Psyshock is going to fly. It's a good terror for us. Amoongus can soak this all day. Did a bit, a, a bit too much damage. But Iron Defense is going to bulk us up here. So we get that Iron Defense bulk. I wonder if we're going to double down into Amoongus here. What if it's going to fly into the Samuseta? That's fine. We are bulk plus three. And now we can say night, night to this Calyrex. So Calyrex is going to go to sleep. Beautiful. And from here, I can simply just body press this Incineroar to KO it. And then just Pollen Puff and put Zombies in it back up to full HP. Right? Probably my best option. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And then next turn, maybe just swap uh, Amoongus, right? We'll see, but I like this turn. I like this turn. I know I'm intimidated minus one on Zamazeta, but my defense is plus three, so Body Press is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. They end up withdrawing Calyrex, so this turn's actually cool with me. I'm fine with this, and Roboom is now going to fly out here. So Roboom comes out here. We can say bye-bye to Incineroar, which is actually a pretty solid turn. And honestly, that's great because Calyrex didn't even waste out one of its sleep turns. So this thing's still asleep. It's guaranteed sleep next turns out on the field. That's even better for us that I actually swapped out. But we dump on Incineroar, we end up pile and puff, and we say, Ayo, Zamazeta, go back to full HP. Have a day. Have a day here. Have a day. So Zamazeta now back up to full HP. Amoongus gets a little bit of HP back from the terrain, and we are thriving out here in match number one. Zamazeta getting after it. So now they have Roboom on the field. Now Roboom, slight threat to us considering it can fake us out. It can grassy glide my Amoongus. I might want to swap Amoongus just to get Regenerator back. But he ends up bringing back out Calyrex. So we know Calyrex is going to be asleep this turn. It's guaranteed. It is guaranteed. I might just bring out Shen Pao because then Sucker Punch is just our best friend. Could bring out Galactic Fire here as well. Both very solid options. But I'm going to bring out Shen Pao. I'm going to bring out Shen Pao here. I'm going to bring out Shen Pao. And furthermore, I'm just going to go for a Body Press into Rillaboom. That's fine. So let's see who he fakes out. Is he going to take off my Focus Sash? Or is he going to... Or are you going to fake out my Samazet? I feel like you, hopefully it's actually taken out my Focus Ash, right? I'd rather get off a Body Press here. And now you're going for neither here. So Body Press just KO and roll boom. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That is absurd. That is absurd. So something we can do here is actually go for a Sucker Punch. And Sucker Punch is probably in our best interest. And the reason I say Sucker Punch is in our best interest is because we can force Calyrex to kind of Terrastalize here. Which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. Or I could play it safe and just go Ice Spinner. I could. I could play it safe and go Ice Spinner. But I kind of want to go for Sucker Punch. So it's only been asleep for one turn. Amoog is back up to 161 HP. We're playing this one really nice. I think we just play it safe from here, right? I honestly think we just play it safe. I think we just go for an Ice Spinner in this slot. And then we just body press this slot. I think that's in our best interest. So Calyrex, yeah, still going to be asleep. No need for us to go for a Sucker Punch. We still have Focus Sash. Ice Spinner going to bop up some big time damage. And body press should KO this, uh, this Urshfu unless it's Sash. Body press flying in here. And it's Sash. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I have Sucker Punch ready to go. And if I had to guess, you're probably choiced. Right? Close combat going to fly here. You're most likely choice uh, Bandit. So I could probably just throw a Sucker Punch into that slot. Who do I want to Sucker Punch here, though? Do I want it to be Urshfu? Probably, right? I feel like Zamazetta should be able to eat up whatever... Whatever damage he has. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for Behemoth Bash into this Calyrex slot. I played this first battle so well. Super well with Zamazetta. Considering I was just scared of that... Uh, Calyrex got a Moongus out there. I knew he was going to intimidate us. Everything worked out perfectly. We just got that Spore off. We got that nice little Iron Defense. And then Body Press doing work. So Sucker Punch takes out Urshifu. Calyrex is now going to wake up here. Astral Barrage is going to fly. No big deal. He's now plus one. But what I can do here is... um, I still have Wide Guard in my back pocket. He has no idea I have Wide Guard. Unless this Behemoth Bash doesn't KO. Which it might not. We're minus one. We're minus one. So Behemoth Bash going to fly through here. And it does not pick up the KO. Sad news here. Sad news. But yeah, from here I could just go into you. I could go into Amoongus. It really don't matter who I go into. 
It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go into Gouging Fire. So I'm going to go into Gouging Fire. He's probably looking just to go for an Astro Barrage here. We're going to set up the Y Guard, and then we're just going to finish off this match. That's going to play all day. Got to spam the Y Guard here. Got to spam the Y Guard. So from here, we'll go for a Heat Crash. Got to make sure it's 100 accuracy. It is. We'll do that alongside with the Y Guard. Saving Y Guard in our back pocket. Big time plays for us. So Y Guard flies through here. Helps us finish off this match. You definitely are going for Astral Barrage, right? Yep, there it is. Game, set, match. Let's go, yo. Samazetta, like I said in the beginning, definitely top tier as a restricted Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Just super bulky, decent speed, decent attack. Has access to great moves such as Wide Guard, Body Press, Iron Defense, all that good stuff. So everything works out well for Zamazetta here in match number one. Let's go hop into our second match. Look for a 2-0 record. Match number two on its way, and we're going up against no restricted Pokemon, but a weird kind of cool team, right? They got Fluttermane, they got Ursaluna, they got Indeedee, Dusclops, furthermore, they got Dragapult and Sandy Shock. So, this team has two Ghost type Pokemon, which kind of sucks for my Zamazetta, because I like to Iron Defense boost them up and really get them going, right? And all these Ghost type Pokemon won't get hit by Body Press, but what Pokemon could they lead? Indeedee's definitely an option. Um, Hmm, Dusclops potentially an option. I could just go in like Gouging Fire and Shen Pao, which isn't bad. I mean, I can how get that attack boost. I can get down with that. I mean, they could pop the Psychic Train, so Sucker Punch is not allowed, but I don't mind that. I mean, I think we're fine with that because I can always Ice Spin or break it. So I'm going to go into those two as our lead. Furthermore, we are going to go into, I think, Ting Lu here, right? Ting Lu, very slow, works very well in Trick Room. And I could go into a Moongus, but they got a lot of special attackers, so honestly, Ting Lu's going to be great. So I'll go Ting Lu, and last but not least, it's either a Moongus or Zamazenta here. A Moongus or Zamazenta. Huh. Who would I rather have here? A Moongus is great if they go Trick Room, but if they don't, I'd rather have Zamazenta. So I'm cool. I'm cool with going Zamazenta here. Considering we already brought Ting Lu, a slow enough Pokemon to really just thrive in that Trick Room and to drop special attack of their special attackers who thrive in Trick Room, such as the Ursaluna, I think we're fine with this. I'm totally cool with that. So I'm going to lead my Howl combo. A little Gouging Fire alongside with Shen Pao. Look to just boost attack and kind of, kind of just get after it. They're going to go Fluttermane Dragon Pulse, so they're just looking for Speedsters here. The Speedsters fly through here. Um, I wonder if Gouging Fire outspeeds my Shen Pao, because I would love the Howl before anything, but chances are he's focus ash, correct? I might just end up protecting you. I could go for break and swipe. Hmm. Well, I definitely want to go for how I could terrestrialize you into ghost. I mean ghost is okay. Ghost is okay. Um I gotta go for sucker punch here. I gotta go for sucker punch. Let's do it. There's a sucker punch dragon pole here. So sucker punch gonna fly through here. Show me no sash. No sash! Woohoo! We love it. We love no sash. I could have sworn that Dragapult would have been sashed. That works out great. Hal is going to come out here. Give us that nice little attack boost. And your chances are you're popping a uh, Dazzling Gleam, right? So, Shen Pal probably going down to sash. Now you're going to Moonblast. That's fine. Keep my Gadget Fire at full HP. We sash up. We sash up. So as long as they do not bring out Psychic Terrain. Sucker Punch is going to be free here to just pretty much knock out the Fluttermane. So the Hal boost working wonders here in... Match number two to get things started here. Indeed, he does come out here. A little tough news for us, but I'll deal with it. I will deal with it. I shall deal with it. So I could end up swapping Chen Pao. Um, I can leave it on the field. It honestly might outspeed Fluttermane. That Fluttermane wasn't booster energy, right? I don't believe it was. So maybe that thing sashed. Oh, no, it's Life Orb. It just showed that it's Life Orb. So, yeah, right now we outspeed it. Do we outspeed it? That's the real question. I think we do. I think we do. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Heat Crash here. And honestly, I'm just going to go for an Ice Spinner. So you go for Follow Me, you go for Follow Me. You could pop Trick Room. You could pop Trick Room. And at that point, we just have Ting Lu. You know, we're just going to say that we have to be the same. But you go for Follow Me. So no Trick Room flies out here. That's fine. Follow Me comes out and about. And Gazing Fire's out speeding. He's out speeding. And he's taking out Indeedy in one shot. Being plus one on attack. Jeez, man. Shen Pao, you outspeed? You don't. Okay. That's fair. Guys of Fire gonna take a little bit of damage, and Shen Pao does get knocked down. So, we're dealing some big time damage, and it's good to know that Gouging Fire does outspeed this Flutter Mate. So, now I can bring out Ting Lu, stop all special attacking damage, and just have Zamazenta for the back end. 
It's a cool Ting Lu flying out here. We love it. We love this Pokemon. And they're going to bring out Ursaluna. So two special attackers. That works great for us. It works wonders for us. So from here, we know we have some speed. Um, we can go for Heat Crash to just maybe KO the Fluttermane. And on top of that, we can just simply just start snarling here. Lowering that special attack of these Pokemon. Save our Terror type too. We still have that. Let's see what they end up doing here, but Snarl is going to work wonders. With this ability and Snarl on the field, these Pokemon should be doing limited damage. LIMITED damage! Besides, obviously, Ursula Luna going for like a super effective shot and my god, fire. But other than that, LIMITED damage, I should say. So out comes the Terror type. If I had to guess, it's going to be Fluttermane, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Ursula Luna go normal. Yep. And it's looking to just spam some Hyper Voices. Looking to just spam some hyper voices. Honestly, I think this Ursaluna might be faster to entertain Lou. I hope not, but Heat Crash gonna fly through here and KO. It does, yo. This Heat Crash doing some damage, man. It's doing some damage. It's doing some damage. And Hyper Voice gonna fly here. Gouging Fire might die to this, but I know Ting Lu will. Gouging Fire ends up surviving. Thank you, Vessels of Ruin. Love that ability. But this thing's ending up being throat spray. But look how easily. Easily my team will show that. And now Snarl is just gonna drop that special attack back to normal. That pretty much puts us in a perfect position to win this game. I'm gonna go for a heat crash. I'm gonna snarl again and just pretty much just set us up for victory. The heat crash flying here. How much damage is this to Yeah, I was gonna say it's based on weight of uh how much gouging fire outweighs opponents. So we're fine here. But Ting Lu's soaking these shots, no problem. He's like a sponge out here. And I'm just going to keep snarling him. Because Zamazetta could just come out here. And now we can just body press him. Body press should just be able to finish this match off. Thanks for playing. Going to be 2-0. This seems fire. This seems really good. This seems really good. I love when Clover Bells makes me teams, man. He always puts the right EVs. He does everything so perfectly. Like I said, if you guys want to check out this team more in depth, head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. I'm pretty sure he has a video out like explaining all the EVs and why he has them laid out like that. It's perfect. But body press gonna fly through here. That's gonna be the game. We 2-0. Let's go hop into our third and final. Look for that perfect record. It's time to grab ourselves a perfect record. We're hopping into our third and final match, and we're going up against yet another team with no restricted Pokemon. Definitely not going to take them lightly, considering all these Pokemon are strong meta Pokemon. They got Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Raging Bolt, and then they got Dragonite and Shen Pao. That combo is ridiculous. I got to watch out for that. But I think I'm going to go into Zamazetta here turn one if they want to intimidate me. That's fine. I'm going to look to boost my defense. They got a lot of physical attackers, so defense boost could work wonders here. So I'm going to go Zamazetta. I'm going to go into Amoongus here, and I think I'm just going to Rage Powder spam while I just boost this thing's defense, right? Might be in her best interest. So yeah, I'm going to go Amoongus. I'm going to end up going into Zamazetta. In the back end, I could go Shen Pao. Shen Pao's not bad. Um, hmm. And last but not least, Fluttermane. Or I could go Gadget Fire. It's either Gadget Fire or Fluttermane. I mean, Gadget Fire has that breaking swipe, which could work wonders. But Fluttermane also dodges extreme speed. So yeah, I like that. They got a lot of first turn priority. Which makes me kind of wish I had, like, Serena over here. Or Farigaraf. One of their abilities will work wonders up against this team. This team's so, like, what was it? Regulation F or the Regulation E? I think before that, where it was just, like, you could spam first turn priority moves and just win matches. That was so OP. Until everybody figured out, you know, counters to it. But for a little bit, it was just rocking. They end up going Incineroar and Raging Bull. And it seems to me... It seems to me that this Rage Bolt wants to just go for Calm Mind, right? That seems like what they want to do. So I'm going to try to set up Iron Defense here. And furthermore, I'm going to Spore. So it's either I'm getting off Iron Defense or I'm Sporing. They're definitely faking out one of my Pokemon. So let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. But I love that Zamazena is very viable in this format. Because again, in Sword and Shield, that Pokemon was pretty much useless. Zacian was the face of the show. And this Pokemon might be better than Zacian in this format. So I love that seeing a little bit of life here. Or a little bit of light. So we'll see what they want to do here. Like I said, I believe they're going to try to set up Calm Mind. It just seems like that with Incineroar right next to it. And they end up going for no fake out. So it looks like Fire Blitz is flying here. Looking a little scary. They're doubling down into Amoongus. Okay, so I get off this Iron Defense at the cost of my Amoongus dying, right? Yeah, so Amoongus is going to die out here. Bye-bye, buddy. Thanks for playing. And if I would have Terrasalize, that could have been a huge turn. 
could have been a huge turn, but I'll take a plus two on Iron Defense, making us plus three considering we had our, our first defensive boost there. And now we're sitting here with that. Um, I can go into Shen Pao here. But yeah, Shen Pao is definitely your best option. Maybe I should have went into Flutter Me here, but I like Shen Pao because I can Ice Spinner rip into this this uh, Raging Bolt, and furthermore, I can just Body Press get rid of Incineroar. No problem. So Body Press, we'll go into an Ice Spinner. And plus three on defense. So if I can get rid of this uh, this Raging Bolt, every other Pokemon on our team is physical attacking. So my bulkiness on defense is going to work wonders. Except we're up against Urshfu, who has a guaranteed crit move. But we'll deal with that at, if the time comes, right? If they even brought it. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you're cooking here. Let's see what you're cooking. Because I outspeed you. I got speed on your head right now. You're gonna. I think they're forced to Terrasilize right now. I think they're forced to pretty much Terrasilize. But not a bad play for them to just double down to Moogus and not deal with Sport, right? Pretty smart play. But you allow my Zamazeta to set up. So it was either one or the other, right? It was one or the other. So there's the Terrasilize. Like I said, they're pretty much forced to Terrasilize in this situation. And I think it's going to be Raging Bolt, right? No, it's going to be Incineroar. So Incineroar is going to Terrasilize into Ghost, you little booger. You little booger. Going to Terrasilize into Ghost typing. That hurts the soul, and Thunderclap's gonna fly in this side and deal a little bit of damage. We don't like that. Ice Spinner, can you KO? I'm actually curious to see. You don't. You don't KO. Body Press is gonna get blocked, and Incineroar, you're going for Flare Blitz into Shen Pao, correct? Yeah. So we Sash up, which is wonderful. And that was just a big time terror for them. You're gonna take some recoil damage. So recoil is gonna. You know, drop him down a little bit. I think we're forced to just sucker punch and look to KO this uh, Raging Bolt. Who might protect? Who just might protect? And to be honest, we're going to go for Behemoth Bash in this slot. Actually, I mean, honestly, we could just do this. I mean, no, we don't want him to go in for a Thunderclap. That's my problem. I want to keep my HP. So I'm going to go Behemoth Bash here. I am going to go Sucker Punch into this slot. Hopefully that KOs. And I just want to keep HP. I feel like I have to Sucker Punch in a Raging Bolt because if it's able to get off another Thunderclap into my Zamazenta, then we're just losing too much HP at this point where we need some HP so we can stay bulky, right? That's pretty much what I want. So we still have Choice Scarf or Choice Spec Fluttermane in the back end, which is beautiful. I really want that Ice Spinner to KO. So Sucker Punch, can it finish you off? It does. Beautiful. Now, can Behemoth Bash finish off this Incineroar? I am minus one, but Shen Pao is next to me. Shen Palski is next to me. Come on, do enough damage. Ah! No! That hurts the soul. Fire Blitz, he's gonna die to recoil, but I lose some HP. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. So I'm losing some HP here. I gotta see who the final two Pokemon are, because my Shen Pao's on one, and my Zion is 47. Real low on HP. I'm hoping I get off at least one more body press with Zamazetta. That could be big time for us. That could be big time for us. That can definitely put us in a, in a driver's seat here. Well, let's see who they have. I would think Urshifu, right? I would think Urshifu. Let's see. Let's see. So I can always Sucker Punch. Um, they could have first on priority here as well. And there's the Urshifu. Oh, man. Darker fighting. Or darker water. It's dark. It's dark. With Rillaboom. Oh, man. How Rillaboom. Not Rillaboom. Not Rillaboom, and I'm pretty much forced to just protect my one Pokemon. So I'm going to go for Body Press here, and I'm just going to protect you. I'm forced to protect my Shen Pao. I am forced to do that. I am forced to do that, because Fake Out could obviously just KO us. But the real question is, if they Fake Out Zombies out of here, oh man, we are in some trouble. They Fake Out Zombies out of here, we're really hoping they just Fake Out Shen Pao. And I would think they would fake out Shen Pao because if I'm going for Sucker Punch, I'm outspeeding both these guys. Let's see. Let's see, but Urshifu could be Choice Bandit. And at that point, Sucker Punch might KO Zamazenta. Like I said, I didn't want to take any extra hits. But of course that Incineroar was able to survive. And deal some extra damage to my Zamazenta. So Protect comes out here from Shen Pao. Fingers crossed for fake out going into that slot. No! Ah, man. Now I'm flinching. Now he's taking me out. You're going for Wicked Blow. Yep, bye-bye. Shen Pao. Hold up. You're giving me another turn. You just gave me another turn. You left my Zamazenta on the field. 
Because I think your choice. I really do think your choice. I get back some HP. Body press doing some damage. Body press doing some damage. We're going to double down into this. What's it called? We are so doubling down into this Urshifu slot. Body press into uh, Dazzling Gleam. Because if anybody's going to be uh, Focus Ash, it's going to be this Urshifu. It's going to be this Urshifu. So hopefully it's Choice Band, to be honest. Because if it's Choice Band, then Fluttermane outspeeds. Fluttermane can pick up the KO. And that works wonders. But, but this is a solid match. So I'm Zeta, you can't believe you left that Pokemon on the field. Being plus three on defense? Ooh. Being plus three on the fence, I feel like you had to hit that with a wicked blow that turn. I feel like you had to do that. But instead, they fake it out, and then they just let me get back a little bit of HP. And they take out my Shen Pao instead. Which is fine by me. I want my Samazetta over my Shen Pao. The Dazzling Gleam's going to fly here. I think your choice banned. Yep, your choice banned. See you later. That's going to be game, because I know Roboom can't do enough damage to KO my Samazetta. And Body Press is going to finish this off. Plus, we're out speeded. Beautiful. Body press. Night, night. 3-0 perfect record. Cannot believe they let this Pokemon stay on the field. What did I say? I told you guys Zamazetta is the real deal in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Just used it on the rank ladder, went 3-0, and won every battle. No problem. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.